Hi everyone, Stuart Hayden here, founder of Stormbeach, specialising in authentic leadership where I get busy as being a coach, facilitator, consultant, author, author and speaker. Today I'm at Storm Beach, literally, on the Gower in South Wales in the UK on a beautiful sunny, sunny day. And I'm going to do a quick uh, vlog here around um, the concept of entanglement. And I've been reading this great book called Entanglement by um, Amir de Azel. And it's a great take on simplifying some scientific theory. Well, I'm not a scientist, so I'm going to keep this really straightforward and how this can apply to our uh, roles in work or in life. So there's a couple of concepts really taken from this. Now the first basis really is that everything is energy. So everything that you're sitting on, standing on, lying on, seeing here in the shot is energy. That's number one. Number two, we can influence our own energy when in terms of how we sleep, eat, physically, emotionally, intellectually, etc. And then the entanglement theory is all about the third part, is about how we can influence the energy of other people. Okay. even when we're not in the same room, building, office, continent or country. Okay. And what we can do is apply these principles to our work. And it really describes, I suppose, the, um, the unofficial theories you'd like about the theory of uh, the law of attraction, things like that, where we set an intention, we make a change ourselves, and that is sensed and picked up by someone else. Okay. So let's have a look at the science. So, um, great quote here from um, uh, Schrodinger, who you're probably familiar with. And he states, entanglement is not one, but rather the characteristic trait of quantum mechanics. So entanglement is not one, but rather the characteristic trait across the board of quantum mechanics by Schrodinger. So it's a great take to have a look at this because it is one of the key, key areas in terms of physical energy. So a couple of stones, I'm on the beach, got um, some great examples here. If you imagine in science or as an individual, this is a particle, a particle over here, okay? If the two particles, this one here, are entangled, are connected, so if these were people, if the two people were um, work colleagues, friends, family, the classic one here is around twins, you know, twins who have a car crash here, the twin on the other side of the world senses something's not right, and they phone up and find out that their twin uh, brother or sister has been in some kind of um, strife, okay? The idea is that the two are entangled, so literally connected in some way, and it all depends on the quality of the connection, are the two people being open. But if you make a change to this particle, okay, in scientific terms it's a particle, but we're obviously going to talk about people or organisations or departments, um, then that change, if entangled, can be experienced, picked up, connected to by that party over there even if they're not in the same building, office, continent, or hemisphere. Pause for breath. That's the theory. That's what science can demonstrate. And we go back. That's what happens in the scientific process. Change this particle. We'll create a change this particle over here. Going back to my original statement, everything is energy. Okay. So this pebble, the particles we're talking about, me and you and I and everyone else is energy. So this happens in human terms harder to prove, of course, then we know that we can influence our own energy. We make a change here, okay? So let's say we uh, set the intention to hear from somebody and have some interesting news about a work project, okay, whatever it might be. Then the third part, we know we can influence the energy of other people. Therefore, if that gets sent out and as a, as a communication, as a message, I'm not necessarily talking about an email or, or a phone call, just sent out as an intention, then potentially if this person is open to receiving that, then that person can think, oh, I might get in touch with Stuart. I want to give him some ideas about a certain project. Okay? So that would explain why yesterday I was in the supermarket thinking about my friend Dave, who was soon to be having a baby. I knew it was June or July, I didn't know when. And I thought, I wonder how they're getting on. It was one o'clock. Five o'clock that evening, check my phone, miss call, Dave, telling me the good news that they're the beautiful baby boy. So it's that kind of connection. We're well connected, we've known each other for many years, work together, friends, mentoring, all that good stuff. So if the connection is made, if a change happens here scientifically, and it does depend on the quality of the entanglement, so if that's not strong, it won't happen. So it needs both parties to be aware of that, then that change can be in place there. So what does that mean to us? Well, it's all about us creating these intentions, uh, these aims, goals, 
uh, deep beliefs, recording them, um, keeping them fresh. However we do that, just to keep that, that strength there, that change there, and then that just goes out and that gets sensed by this. So enjoy that, on the one hand, mind-blowing scientific theory, but hopefully I've simplified it. Obviously, um, if you want more, you can. My programs delve into it a lot more and I kind of keep it simple. This book is a great start for 10. It's pretty straightforward and it gives you some hot tips on how to put this into practice.